Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear students, in this video, we will learn word problems based on algebraic expression in one variable. We will solve examples of practice set 12.2 from the chapter Equations in one variable. First example, mother is 25 years older than her son. Find son age if after 8 years ratio of son's age to the mother age will be 4 upon 9. So let us consider you have to find the age of son. So let present age of son be x years. Therefore Mother is 25 years older than son. Therefore, the present age of mother is older means x plus 25 years, age of mother. Now, the condition is known after 8 years. The age of mother will be present age is x. So, after 8 years, it will be son's age will be x plus 8 and age of mother will be x plus 25 plus 8 which is equal to x plus 25 plus 8 is equal to 33 years. After 8 years, son's age is x plus 8 and mother's age is x plus 33. Now, as per given condition, the condition is given here that the ratio of son's age to the mother age is 4 upon 9. So, age of son after 8 years is x plus 8 divided by age of mother is x plus 33. This ratio of this age will be 4 upon 9. Now, solve this equation. This is the equation in one variable. So, here cross multiplication 9 into x plus 8 is equal to 4 into x plus 33. Now, 9 into x, 9x plus 9 8 the 72 is equal to 4 into x, 4x plus 4 into 33. 4 3 is 12, 1 carry, 4 3 is 12 and 1 30. Now, take the variable on one side and numbers on the other side of equal equality, equal to sign. So, 9x 4x will come on left hand side, it will become minus 4x and plus 72 will jump on right hand side of equal to sign, it will become minus 72. Therefore, 9x minus 4x is 5x is equal to 132 minus 72 is equal to 60. Therefore, x is equal to 60 upon 5, 5 on the 12. So, x is equal to 12. So, the present age of son is present age of son is 12 years. Second example. The denominator of fashion is greater than its numerator by 12. If the numerator is decreased by 2 and denominator is increased by 7, the new fraction is equal to 1 upon 2. Find the fraction. So now let us consider the numerator of fraction B, x. Therefore, denominator is 12 greater than the numerator. So denominator is x plus 12. So the fraction required is n upon numerator upon denominator which is x upon x plus 2, 12. Now as per given condition, condition is given that if numerator is decreased by 2, so numerator is of x, so as x, numerator is decreased by 2 and denominator is increased by 7, so denominator is x plus 12, so denominator x plus 12 is increased by 7. The Fraction will be equal to 1 upon 2. Now simplify this fraction. 
this equation in one variable so x minus 2 upon x plus 12 plus 7 is equal to 19 so x plus 19 is equal to 1 upon 2 now here to the cross multiplication so next step 2 into x 2 multiplied by x minus 2 is equal to 1 into x plus 19 now simplify this equation so 2 into x therefore 2x minus 2 to the 4 is equal to x plus 19. Therefore, take the variables on one side, left hand side of the equal, equal to sign. So, f2x minus x is equal to 19 minus 4 will come on right hand side of equal to sign, it will become plus 4. Therefore, 2x minus x is x, 19 plus 4 is equal to 23. So, the numerator, the fraction is fraction required fraction that is numerator upon denominator which is x upon x plus 12 which is equal to x is equal to 23 denominator is 23 plus 12 so the required fraction is 23 upon 35 third example the ratio of weight weights of copper and zinc in brass is 13 as to 7 find the weight of a zinc in a brass utensil weighing 700 gram so when the ratio is given of any two quantity then should give a common multiple to the ratio so let x be the common multiple. Now ratio of weights of copper and brass, copper and zinc in the brass utensil is given as 13 as to 7. Therefore, given the common multiple as x, weight of copper will be equal to 13x gram and weight of zinc will be 7x gram. Now, as per given condition, the total weight of the utensil is 700. So, brass is made up of zinc and copper. So, brass is made up of zinc and copper. So, 13x plus 7x is equal to total weight of the utensils, that is brass utensils. Therefore, 7, 13x plus 7x is equal to 20x is equal to 700 therefore x is equal to 700 divided by 20 0 0 cancel 2 1 2 2 35 70 so therefore x is equal to 35 x is 35 so here we have to find the weight of the zinc so weight of weight of zinc in the brass will be equal to 7x which is equal to 7 into 35 that is equal to 7 5 the 35 235 gram is the weight of zinc in the brass utensil fourth example find three consecutive whole numbers whose sum is more than 45 and but it is less than 54 so let let us consider three consecutive whole number b x x plus 1 and x plus 2 so as for given condition this sum of this whole number is more than 35 is x sum x plus 1 and x plus 2 is more than 35, 45 and less than 54. Therefore, 45 is less than x plus x plus x, 3x, x plus x, x plus x plus x is 3x 
and 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 is less than 54. Therefore, 45. Now, this 3, 3 will come on left hand side. 45 minus 3 is less than 3x and greater than, it is this 3x is less than 45 x will minus 54 minus 3. Therefore, 45 minus 3 is 42 is less than 3x less than 3x is less than 51. Therefore, 42 here 3x is 3 into x so we will get divide divide by 3 3 each and each and every term so 51 upon 3 therefore 3 1s are 3 3 4s are 12 so 14 is less than x is less than x is less than 1s are that is 17. So, therefore, the value of x will be x is equal to greater than 14 means it will be 15 or x is less than 17 which is equal to 16. So, the values of x are x is equal to 15 or x is equal to 16. So, if x is equal to 15, then the whole numbers are x is equal to 15, next is x plus 1, 15 plus 1 which is equal to 16 and x plus 2 which is equal to 15 plus 2 which is equal to 17. And if second, if x is equal to 16, then the whole numbers will be x is equal to 16, first whole number and x plus 1 that is 16 plus 1 which is equal to 17 and x plus 2 which is equal to 16 plus 2 which is equal to 18. So, the three consecutive whole numbers will be 15, 16, 17 whose sum is more than 45 and 16, 17, 18 whose sum is less than 54. Fifth example. In a two digit number, the digit at times place is twice the digit at unit place. If the number obtained by interchanging the digits is added to the original number, the sum is 66. Find the number. So let us consider the digit at unit place of a number B, X. Therefore, digit at times place is twice the digit and unit place so it will be 2 times x 2x therefore original 2 digit number will be 2x 10 into 2x 10 place into unit 1 into x that is 10 into 2 x is equal to 20x plus x which is equal to 21x is original 2 digit number if the digit are inter interchanged then the digit in unit place, digits are interchanged. So, tens place will become unit place and unit place will become tens place. So, unit place is 2x and digit in tens place is x. So, the name number which is obtained, 2 digit number is 10 into x, that is tens place number into 1 into 2x. Therefore, 10 into x, 10x plus 2x which is equal to 12x. So, as per given condition, the sum is of both the numbers. Condition, the original number 21x plus the new number 12x is equal to 66. So, sum is 21x plus 12x is equal to 66. Therefore, 21 plus 12 33 x is equal to 66 therefore x is equal to 66 divided by 33 which is equal to 33 1 the 33 2 the so x is equal to 2 
So the number two digit number, the two digit number is equal to 10x, 10 into 2x, that is plus x, which is equal to 10 into 2 into 2 plus 2, which is equal to 10 to the 20, 20 to the 40 plus 2, which is equal to 42. So, 42 is the two digit number. Sixth example, some digits of rupees 200 and some of rupees 100 of a drama in a data were sold. The number of tickets of rupees 100 sold was 20 more than the number of tickets of rupees 100. The total, total amount received by the trader by sale of the tickets was rupees 37,000. Find the number of rupees 100 tickets sold. So let us assume that the number of tickets of rupees 100 sold be x. Therefore, the number of tickets of rupees 200, which is 20 more than 100, sold where let be x plus 20. So as per given condition, so number of tickets 100 are x plus 200 is x plus 20, which is total amount collected is rupees 37,000. Now let us solve this equation in one variable. Therefore, 100x plus multiply this bracket by 200. 200 into x is 200x plus 200 into 20. That is 4000 which is equal to 37,000. Therefore, 100 plus 200 is equal to 300x. This plus 4000 will Call right hand side of the equal to sign, it will get minus subtracted from 37,000 minus 4,000. Therefore, therefore, 300x is equal to 37,000 minus 400 is equal to 33,000. Therefore, x is equal to 33,000. Here 300 into x, so it will come on right hand side, it will get divided. So 33,000 upon 300, 0, 0 from numerator and denominator cancel, 2 zeros from numerator, 2 zeros from denominator. Now divide, 3 1 the 3, 3 1 the 3, 3 1 the 3, 0, therefore x is equal to 110. So the answer is the number of number of number of rupees 100 tickets sold were 110